My next guest first burst onto our TV screens as the character Coco in the hit TV show Fame. And she was great, and since then she has appeared in dozens of movies and TV programs, including Criminal Minds and Boston Legal and Eeyore and Grey's Anatomy. Do you watch all those? Yes, you do. She's in Ireland today to launch a new TV talent search for performers to star in an Irish version of Fame, the musical. Would you welcome, please, Erica Gimple. <laughs> Erica Gimple. Welcome to our little show. Thank you. How are you this evening? I'm fantastic. Uh, first time in Ireland. What took you so long? God I know. It's, it's, I, I'm so glad to be here. You got here eventually. So <laughs> how are you enjoying it so far? Have you, have you uh, seen anything or done I've anything? I've been running quickly as we drive by. I'm like, what's that building? What's that building? What's that building? <laughs> it's a bit you like know, that, seeing it? seeing it very quickly, but I'll be coming back, so I'll have more time. Okay, and have you been drinking from the Fountain of Youth? I mean, how come you haven't changed in 20 years? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Doesn't she look like amazing? Oh, I mean, that's, I don't know how you do that, you. but that's good. So, um, I've been living well. You know, I've been living my life well. Looking yeah. after yourself. Yes, absolutely. Why, why was fame so successful, Erica? Why, why did everyone seem to get hooked on it when it was out at the time? I think it really spoke to, especially youth, because it allowed people to have permission to follow their dream in yeah. a really powerful, liberating way. And I think it was a uh, con really infectious energy that went out and just said, you know, it's please follow your dream. We need you. You know, it just it was wear those it, leg warmers. Yes, yes. Bash that mop. Be that person. <laughs> well, just I just think everybody has that 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 little inkling inside themselves that they want to express, and yes. it, it was just a time to really say, do it. Yeah. Give yourself permission to do that. And, and they did. I mean, you toured the world, didn't you, with kids from Spain? Absolutely. Fame. Absolutely. And what sort of reaction did you get around the planet? It was pretty intense. I mean, London was very, people were so, ex we were like rock stars. Really? And one of my most incredible experiences when we were in Israel, we uh, landed in a plane and then we were rushed into kind of an ambulance with some of the army with machine guns and we were like in this ambulance going and then we went to this full state and we didn't know where we were going and it's being translated to us. You know, like well, what, what's happening right now? Yeah. We just got off a plane and we end up getting on the stadium and there are like thousands of people out there and you're just like, ah. No. So it was, I mean, I'm like a person from Manhattan and I was kind of going, wow, this really has really <laughs> made a big impression. So. I think we should remind ourselves, would you like to see Eric in the day? Now, come on, let's go back to fame for a minute. Okay. Yeah, you like this. It took me by surprise, I must say. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Pretty incredible. Yeah. Pretty incredible. What do you think watching that? I mean, do you think, God, it's like a thousand years ago and I look so different, or do you think that feels like yesterday? I mean, where, where does that it fit? It feels like time has passed. You really? know, it definitely does. It, uh, but I, I feel like the, I just feel like I have maintained that spirit, though, mm. that, that youthful spirit. That joie de vivre. Yeah, is still there. Can I ask you about one of the characters that struck a chord for a lot of people? It was Leroy. Yes, and he's yes. Gene Anthony Ray was the actor. And yes. I mean, we had a very tragic end. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. it, was, it, was, it was one of those stories that didn't work out, wasn't it? What happened mm -hmm. to him? Well, he unfortunately had a virus that affected his brain, and so he had been battling with that for a couple of years. Yeah. And, um, but for me, I, I choose to celebrate somebody's life. Rather than the negative. Than the negative. Yeah, and sure. I feel what Gene offered was his incredible raw talent mm. and also his fearlessness. I you mean, have a picture of him in his prime Aww. because he, before he hit the... Yes problems in his life and uh, so of course I mean, be... he was so fearless I mean speaking about going yes. to London I mean we would do these concerts and he would dive into the audience just dive fearlessly yeah. and people would catch him and he was just he was a fearless person and you of course went on to do so many other things I mentioned yes. them in my introduction to you before you came yes. on and I know ER was, was one of them I yeah. mean uh, how was that for you did you enjoy being that was there? incredible because I was playing a social worker on there and, and as an actor I always do a lot of research so I was going into the field with a friend of mine who was a social worker yes. and really you know understanding that that whole work and um, and I got to work with George Clooney a number of that times that must be very difficult for you Erica um, <laughs> 
Uh, did, did you have really to, hard. Did you have to really go into, did you have to go into counseling after that? <laughs> no, because what was really incredible, I have to say, is that when I first moved back from New York to Los Angeles, I, my friends threw me a birthday party, and he happened to be at my birthday party before ER hit. So it wasn't, you know. So when we got on the set again, it was like, oh my gosh, I know, I saw you, George. Oh, uh, well, dog. <laughs> No, but he was, he was so wonderful because the gift that he has is that he makes everyone on the set feel so comfortable. Good. The crew's always laughing. Yes. And you just feel like, you know, we're here to play. And okay. he really creates that, that kind of ambiance. So you feel free. He's great. Play. He's in up in the air at the moment. He's a great yes. friend. He's brilliant in it. He's yes. a great old actor. But uh, yeah, no friend of mine. Um, <laughs> and of course, you went on to uh, Grey's Anatomy, yes. which is so popular in this country. And yeah. I think that what was funny for you there was that you know the, the, the cast were going, Eric is coming. Yeah. I mean, they were delighted to see you. As it well. was such a great experience because um, Sandra Oh, I'm, I'm sure people you know, know Sandra, who Sandra Oh. We've got a picture is. of Sandra here. Yeah. yeah, of course. We were. I was sitting in the makeup trailer, and you know, I was sitting down getting my makeup done, and she sits next to me, and she looks at me, and she goes, <gasps> and I was like, what, 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 what? You know, like what happened? And she just, she looked at me, and she goes, oh my god, and she started to well up with tears. No. And